Hi there, my name is Freddie Garrity. I was born the 14th of November 1936 in Manchester. It happens to be the same date as Prince Charles, although he does look a little bit older. <laughs> Fed up now. <laughs> I, um, I went to U3 secondary school, but it wasn't very eventful. Actually, I wasn't a very good boy when I was at school because I, I was taken to court for nicking chocolate penguins. Four chocolate penguins and they took me to court, but I'm here as a free man. From up above, she's my only love. Thou shalt not steal. It's written in the good book. Now you're a grown man. Surely you understand. in gold like all angels are see that ribbon in her hair it's for my love that lingers there thou shalt not steal and now you know she's mine I must say, when I was at school, I didn't really dislike schoolwork, but the one thing I did love more than anything else was the sports side. I used to play for the school team, and in later years I had a trial with Burnley Football Club, and also I trained with Manchester City and with Manchester United. My... Um, my first introduction into show business was in 1956, I think it was in any case, and uh, I went in for a talent contest at the Locarno Ballroom in Sale, Manchester. I sang an Al Jolson song, April Showers, and I actually won the, the, the contest. The prize was an electric razor, and at that time I hardly shaved. I then sort of went on to bigger things. <laughs> I, uh, I formed a skiffle group. I was inspired by Lonnie Donegan. I formed a skiffle group called the Red Sox and we were playing in the Manchester area for a number of years. We went in for the North West Skiffle Championships, at, again at Sale Locarno, and we came second, first or second. It's a long time ago, I'm trying to remember. Um, but we built up quite a good name. Not mainly from the music side of view, but we enjoyed fooling around on stage and jumping around and bouncing about and generally making idiots of ourselves. But I think people enjoyed our act because we were enjoying ourselves and it, it came across the footlights. I must point out that um, the Red Sox Skiffle Group, um, none of the members of that particular band became Freddie and the Dreamers. It was just a, a band that I'd formed within the area of where I lived, and I was courting a girl called Josie Tideswell. But having said all that, you know, the band only lasted about three years. I think at the end of the day, Josie got really cheesed off with travelling around in a Morris 8 with a T-chest bass on the back, girlfriends in tow, um, a washboard which was on to two big stands, a guitar banjo, and uh, <laughs> it was a bit of an effort. And the funny thing was, um, 
I sold my guitar and my amplifier to a, a, a lad called Roy Crutzen. And Roy just lived around the corner from me and he just formed a, a skiffle group called the Kingfishers. And I was coming home one night from the pictures with Josie. And I said, hello, Roy, how's things going? He said, oh, fine. He said, he said why don't you pop in and have a look at the group and see what you think? So I said, oh, yeah, I will. And Josie said, yeah, you do, meaning don't, but I did. <laughs> so I went round on the Friday and uh, they were rehearsing there. They were arguing like mad. They were really arguing about this, that and the other. So I gave them the <laughs> bit of my expertise, you know, of Mike, because, I, of course, I'd come second in the uh, Northwest Skiffle Championships. So I said, this is a song you should do. Da, 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 da. Right, I said, what's your best song? And they said, that one. <laughs> So I was asked to go the following week, so I took a tape recorder, and I was getting back into this all, you see. I never took any notice of jokes in the end. So I'm going, every week I'm doing this, you know. Then they said, look, why, uh, why don't you be our leader? So I said, well, I think we need to change the name of the group. So I said, let's give it a thought, you see. Well, at that particular time, I was selling brushes in the area where I lived. And a lady says to me, she said... Uh, she knew that we were looking for a name for the group. She said to me, um, have you found a name for the group yet? So I says, no, we're still, we're lo still looking. Oh, she says, you're the right lot of dreamers. So I thought, that sounds quite good, that, the dreamers. So I went across the road to where we were rehearsing that evening. I said, look, how about calling it the dreamers? Well, that sounds all right. We're looking at alligators and this, that and the other, you know. But the dreamers, yeah, OK, we'll call it the dreamers. So that's how... The Dreamers became a name, you know, that was how it started. And, of course, it was a few weeks later that it became Freddie and the Dreamers. It wasn't really what the boys wanted because they wanted uh, it just to stay as the Dreamers. But the fact that I was the leader and I was putting so much effort into it, I didn't think it was uh, untowards not to be called Freddie and the Dreamers. But the boys wouldn't have that, really. So in the end, I said, right, you can stick the bloody group. <laughs> and I said, and I walked out, and that was it. And two weeks later, Bernie Dwyer, uh, who was the drummer, he came round to me, he said, look, he said, we'll call it Freddie and the Dreamers, you know, if, 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 if we can all get back together. So I said, well, I don't want it like that. He said, I want it because you all want it, you know. At the end of the day, I'm a very sensitive person. And I thought, if you want that, I want it, but I only want to do it if you want it, sort of thing. So it became Freddie and the Dreamers, and I always remember the first night. And I said, uh, we, were, we were performing, the boys said, we'll go on stage, we'll play one song, and we'll announce you one. So they went on stage, they did one song, they said, ladies and gentlemen, our leader, Freddie. <laughs> I felt the right prat, honestly. I thought, oh, I can't, that's daft, that is. And I said, I don't want it like that. Don't start announcing it like that, ever. It's called Freddy and the Dreamers. Announce it as Freddy and the Dreamers and I'll come right at the beginning. So that was it. There you go, and baby, here am I. Well, you left me here so I could sit and cry. Well, golly gee, what have you done to me? Well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Do you remember, baby, last September how you Daisy, how you drove me crazy Well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore There's no use in me a crying I've done everything and now I'm sick of trying Thrown away my nights, wasted all my days over you You go your way and I'll go mine Now I'm forever till the Time I'll find somebody new And baby, we'll say we're through And you won't matter anymore There's no use in me to cry And I've done Trying, thrown away my nights and wasted all my days.